Hey there, here we go, writing a power function from a given uh, series of connected words. Also known as a paragraph. Yeah. Uh, from empirical evidence. Hey, what is empirical evidence? I have no idea. It's like the Empire State's building. You know, it's got the like, tall, tall thing and deal on the top. And you that, can jump off the top if you want to. And not really what it is. Okay. Um, okay, good. We're writing. Um, empirical evidence is evidence that you get from doing experiments. I'm pretty sure. So, from empirical evidence and the laws of physics, it has been found that the period of time t for the full swing of a pendulum varies as the square root of the pendulum's length l, provided the swing is small relative to the length of the pendulum. Express the relationship as a power function. I think we should get Mr. Keister. I think that we should try not to focus on the physics part of it because all we're doing is writing a power function and we already know how to do but that. But it said empirical evidence and laws of physics. Yeah, it's okay though. Okay. Look, the period, it says found the period of time t. So we have t. Capital T as it were. Yes, in this case, t equals, uh, it says it varies and it doesn't say indirectly or proportional, so that means it varies directly. So we're not going to put a fraction, but we do, because it varies, need to put a constant, like like a constant of variation, okay. like k. So anytime we're reading this and it says varies as, Just it's going to be in a k. equals k, yeah. equals k, yeah. and then everything else. Unless they specify that you should use a different letter for your constant. Okay, sounds good. Okay, and then as the square root of the pendulum's length l. So square root of the pendulum's length l. Okay, it's all on the same level, no fraction, because it varied, uh, and it didn't tell us indirectly, which means it varied directly. So right here, this is our answer. That's all we had to do. We didn't have to know anything about physics. Wow, that's amazing. It's my favorite type of physics problem. Yeah, the ones where you don't have to know physics? Exactly. I love those problems, too. Yeah.